Hello my friends, welcome to a new Forex video. On this video we will learn two new candlestick patterns. The first one is the hammer candlestick pattern and the second one is the inverted hammer candlestick pattern. Let's see. The first one is the hammer candlestick pattern. This is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and we usually find this chart at the end of a downtrend. As you can see, it looks like a hammer, right? It has a small body, can be bullish or bearish, can be green or can be red, at the upper side of the chart. And it also has a long wick or shadow going down. That means that the bullish are rejecting the bearish. The bulls in the market are rejecting the bears. The long week to the downside shows us that bears were able to push price downward before bullish momentum pushes the price back up to the candlestick's opening price or high price. Let's see some examples of these hammer candlesticks. On this BCH USD one hour chart, BCH is at the end of a clear downtrend. The green arrow highlights a hammer candlestick that is followed by a 36% move to the upside. So as you can see, this candlestick has a very small body with a very long lower wick or lower shadow. This indicates that while bears were able to push price downward, the bearish momentum was eventually surprised by, by the bulls. On this LTC USD 30 minutes chart, you can see a hammer candlestick highlighted again by the green arrow. Can you see it? Unlike the previous green hammer, this one is red. Bears were able to push the price of LTC down to 22.2 during this trading period before bulls took control and pushed price back up to the USD 22.8 area. Despite the positive momentum, bulls were unable to push the price above the candle's opening price. While a red hammer is technically not a bullish as a green one, don't let that fool you. The bullish influence during this trending period is significant when you consider the length of the lower wick or shadow. In a situation like this, it's best to look for additional confluence for other indicators and candlestick developments over the next few bars. The inverted hammer is also a bullish reversal, even if you believe it or not. And we can also find it at the end of a downtrend. Okay, so what's happening here? The bullish are pushing the price up but when this price is close, it will be close above the opening price or before the closing price. So it's clearly a bullish reversal. Let me explain to you in these examples. The inverted hammer set the stage for bulls to enter the market after establishing an initial level of confidence. Let's see some examples. On this X, XRP USD one day chart, you can see XRP in a clear downtrend. Can you see it? This particular downtrend started around 0 0.56 and ended at 0 0.28 with a clear inverted hammer candlestick highlighted by the green arrow. Can you see this inverted candlestick hammer? Okay, the lack of a significant lower wick or lower shadow indicates that bears were unable to push price much lower than the candle's opening price. So, as a result, bullish momentum took over and XRP rallied over 40% to the upside. On this ETH USD 15 minutes chart, ETH is finishing off a consolidation period after a fall from 110. After five 
successive bearish candles, the ETH USD chart prints an inverted hammer. Can you see this inverted hammer here? Once again, the lack of a lower wick or lower shadow indicates the inability of bears to push the price lower than candles opening price. As a result, bulls regain confidence with a change in market sentiment and the price of ETH rallies 20% to the upside. Okay guys, this is all for today. I'm very glad that you can learn a lot from our videos. Please give us a like, comment if you have any questions, and of course, share with others. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.